so it looks like my concerns were uh, somewhat reasonable. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So today uh, we've got some leaks, kinda. Not really leaks, but people have gotten their hands on uh, Sonic X Shadow Generations early. You uh, probably have seen it already, so if you're on Twitter and the internet in general and you don't want to be spoiled, I'll hide because these two, these leaks are going out crazy, so uh, be, be wary. Now, I recently made a video that, uh, wow, that video did a lot, a lot better than I thought it would, <laughs> where I was just going over my concerns of what could possibly be changed in Sonic Generations when it was revealed that it was going to be remastered, uh, remade, rewritten, whatever re you want to go with. Um, and Ian Flynn, of course, then confirmed that they were going to lightly polish the story on the Bumblecast. Now, more stuff has come out, and the changes that have come out are, again, more or less dealing with what my main concern was in the previous video, was Amy Rose. Now, a lot of people didn't quite get what I was saying in the last video, so I had to put a comment, and then I put a post on my community tab, pretty much saying that, again, I don't blame Ian Flynn specifically for this. This was that was the big thing. People thought I was bashing Ian Flynn for this when every other time I talk about Ian it's with reverence. I think Ian Flynn is the best writer for Sonic the Hedgehog. Period. You know, I I love the man and I enjoy everything pretty much he does. Do I have some issues with him? Yes. Because nobody's perfect and there's definitely going to be stuff I don't agree with him on and one of the things me and Ian just don't agree on I guess is how Amy gets portrayed in some points now again I do want to stress I like where Amy Rose is right now I think where she's written in Frontiers is perfect and I think a lot of the writing that Ian did for her in the IDW comics is great too because especially in the comics he has the new Amy Rose where she's a lot more independent and determined and more of a leader he has that new Amy Rose but she still has moments where her crush and love for Sonic shines through you know and I like that you know I, I do enjoy the new Amy Rose the way she's written I don't want her to be overly you know obsessive over Sonic to where she's like you know stalkery and all that stuff I think that can get a bit weird but I don't want it to be where we're completely erasing her love for Sonic completely out of her character because you know that's what most people think of when they think of Amy Rose is her love for Sonic and like I said before I like both versions I like when Amy can be the Sonic fangirl but I also like when she can stand on her own when you find a balance in between them which I believe Ian can do then I think that's perfect uh, and my big concern was that they were going to course correct and change Amy Rose. Now, not, you know, not even not even the course correction was they're just going to rewrite Amy's character completely and make her more how she is now, rather than how she was before. So again, I want to state, I have no problem with how Amy Rose is portrayed now, but I don't think you should go back in time and rewrite how she used to be, because then you get rid of that progression and the change that she had as a character okay okay do you do you understand now i hope you understand now there's more changes oh god okay so uh one change that i had mentioned was that they were going to change the opening scene of sonic generations where sonic is there for the birthday party everyone's chatting it's all super fun and nice and sonic starts talking to tails and he puts his hand up to stop amy from trying to hug him that has been changed and they changed it with something that is really freaking weird it's just amy behind sonic and she's got like cupcakes and she's awkwardly like it's a really awkward freaking scene uh, where she's just awkwardly like i don't know trying to get his attention with cupcakes it's weird it's it's not done right if you're gonna change the scene i maybe do something else because it's it's so freaking weird or better yet just don't change the scene it's funny just leave it be um so they did change that so oh great uh and there's more changes we, we got even more so someone has posted that they have changed amy rose's bio in the game great so her original uh bio 
from the OG Generations was this. It says, Amy Rose, a young cheerful girl hedgehog, Amy can be a bit obsessed about chasing Sonic, even claiming to be his girlfriend. She's an energetic go-getter who lets nothing get in her way. Her new bio states, a cheerful girl who loves to help others. Sonic inspired her to be her very best. She's an energetic go-getter with the help of her Pico Pico hammer and fortune cards. Nothing gets in her way. Now, dear God. Okay, here we go. So, first off, why are we just erasing anything to do with the fact that she liked Sonic? Why are we doing this? Sega, what we doing? You don't have to do this, okay? We can have Amy still be on her own, still let nothing get in her way, as the bio says, and she can still like Sonic. We don't have to stop this. And then there's the push for fortune cards, which some people roll their eyes at the fortune cards. I don't mind it. It's another neat thing to add to her that like she 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 likes tarot cards and she'll you know read her friends' fortunes every now and then. That's fun. I, I I think that's fine. I mean, when they try to make it that that's like a thing she's always had, I think that's maybe stupid. But her liking tarot cards, it's fine. I don't think it's a problem. I think they're coming out with tarot cards for Amy, right? Like they're actually coming out with actual Amy fortune cards. That's cool. I think that's fun. So I don't have a problem with her liking fortune cards. I just hate rewriting it, right? I hate the retconning. I hate the rewriting of this. This is what I don't like. I have no problem if you want to be like, that's. this is the current Amy, right? The, our new version of Amy is this way. That's fine. You go do that. But leave the past the way it was. Just I just don't want you to rewrite the past. That's all I want. That's all I'm asking. Okay, that's all I'm asking. Because like I said, when you rewrite the past, and you're like, oh, look how much Amy's changed. But you've changed the past, so that means she was always this way. So then it's nothing big. You get what I'm saying? Like, that's that's my problem here. And again, this is mainly on Sega, because this is obviously a Sega decision to make these changes to Amy's character and make these changes in general to Sonic. And we don't have to do it. Sega, how about you just don't do it? How about you just let it be the way it was? You know, people liked Amy Rose before these changes. I'm sure they'll probably like her after these changes too. You know, especially because they're not like completely one. It's not like a complete 360 change on who Amy Rose is. It's like, it's, it's slight changes, right? It's not, you know, like super huge changes. Again, I, I, I'm just not a fan of the rewriting the past and trying to make it that she was always this way. No, she wasn't always this way. She used to be obsessed with Sonic. She used to be a hyper fangirl. And that's fine. And again, she can grow out of it. And she can gain more of a personality. She now reads her friend fortune cards. You know, she's a bit more of a leader. She was the leader of the restoration for a bit. That's cool. She was a coordinator for the restoration during the uh, metal virus arc and the post forces stuff that's all well and good then she gave it all to jewel the beetle because she wanted a break and wanted to go back to being a bit more carefree and do stuff like go have a camping trip with her friends even though amy still does stuff for the restoration she's not you know the leader like she was before that's fine you maybe flirt with sonic a bit that's fine like they had little cute moments that's cool i'm fine with it I'm fine with that. Just don't rewrite. That's all I'm asking. Just don't rewrite the past and be like, she was always this way, guys. It's like, we know better. Don't don't try and treat me like I'm stupid here, okay? Please. So that's going to do it for me here. I'm not too happy with changes. And this is more and more souring my thoughts on remakes in general. Now, I'm still hyped for this game. You know, Shadow Generations has me over the freaking moon. I cannot wait to get my hands on the Shadow Generations portion. I'm less and less excited now about the Sonic Generations portion and maybe, you know what, I'll just play OG Gens instead at this point. But yeah, that's going to do it for me. And once again, I don't hate Ian Flynn. I love the man. He is awesome and he's the best Sonic writer. I firmly believe that in my heart, Ian Flynn is the best Sonic writer. And again, I know he's just kind of following a mandate here. He's, he's kind of doing what Sega's telling him to do so most of my aggression about this rewrite is on sega themselves and sonic team for doing this so that's going to do it for me what do you think of the changes to amy rose's bio and of course 
the changes to the opening cutscene. Let me know in the comments down below. Be freaking civil about it. Please, God, we don't need to ruin anyone's hype, right? We can be civil in the comments, right? Let me know in the comments down below. If you can be civil, thank you. I'll see y'all next time.